everybody. I'm standing in front of one of our recent purchases here in Hastings, Ontario. This is going to be a 205 unit subdivision, 97 townhomes and three 36 unit buildings. Now we've purchased this a few years ago, actually almost a year and a half ago now. And we purchased it basically conditional on the seller delivering us what's called draft plan approval. Draft plan approval basically means that we have a, an approval for the subdivision itself. And then there are other approvals that will need to follow that, like site plan approval for the multifamily buildings and a couple of other things. But basically the way we structured this deal was that we will give the sellers a deposit and then when they deliver us draft plan approval 60 days following that we would close on this piece of property so what they're doing is they're working with the city and the planners or the municipality in this case and they're moving this project along through this draft plan approval process and once that's complete then we're basically purchasing something that's already been approved so on this site we're not sure exactly what we're going to do with it we may sell the entire thing to a builder for instance we may just service the lots, the 97 townhomes, and then sell off individual lots. Or we could do a, a mixture of uh, a few different things. We could sell some lots, we could build a few properties, we could build the multifamily buildings and hold them. There's lots of exit options on this transaction. So it's still probably gonna be six months to 12 months before that draft plan approval gets delivered to us here. They have been moving this project along, but basically other than that, we don't have any costs out of pocket on this transaction until they deliver us draft plan approval and then we need to close on the deal. This is a really unique situation and probably if this one goes through, it'll be the biggest development deal that we've done, a total of 205 units. This is the first time I've actually been to the site. This is the first time I've uh, been here to Hastings to actually check it out. So for those of you that are uh, maybe wondering why I would purchase something that I've never even been to for uh, you know around $3 million, well, that basically comes down to it's really about the plans. We saw all of the process that the sellers have gone through to this point to get into this uh, part of the transaction. So I don't necessarily need to come here and actually take a look at it. I was driving by today, so it was nice to be able to take a look at the land and see what we actually have are going to purchase. But this is something where as you get into more and more development transactions, you don't necessarily need to drive the property and look at it because really what you're looking at is a piece of land. And, and if you don't really know what you're looking at, it doesn't really matter if you've seen it or not. So keep on following me. We'll be doing more um, videos on this specific project as it continues to move along. But I thought while I was here in Hastings, I'd give you guys a quick little tour of the actual land. This is 22 acres of land. Now, part of that is a marsh area that we're not gonna be able to develop on, but there is a good amount of this property that we will be able to develop. And I'm excited to see this one through to the next phases. So I uh, hope that was valuable. And, and uh, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about this property or land development in general, or the course that I teach on how you can take on a project like this of your own.